Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with my Raspberry Pi 3 running RT Android. Now this is Android 7.0. They also make a Android Marshmallow version. It does come with a script to install the Google Play Store and it is rooted. Before we get started here, no touchscreen will not work. The official Raspberry Pi 7 inch touchscreen will not work. I've only tested this over HDMI. I haven't tested Google Play Music yet. I'm going to make a few more videos. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, all work. Sound over HDMI works. One thing I had to do was edit the build prop to change the resolution of the screen. And I had to change it to 1280 by 720 in order to capture it with my game capture card. It does come out of the box at 1280 by 800. When I edited the build prop, for some reason, my bottom buttons went missing. Now, out of the box at 1280 by 800, it looks fine, but my game capture would not pick it up. I got a no signal on it, so I had to change it to 720 in order to record the screen. If you install this yourself, you will have the three buttons at the bottom, like regular Android. Mine are missing because I changed the resolution. I'm working on a fix for this. I think it has something to do with DPI, uh, maybe, I don't know. So let's get into it guys. We're going to go to settings and I'll show you that this is Android 7.0. There we are. Android in. So I do have a few apps installed and I want to test a few for you guys. First up, we're going to do Angry Birds. Now I did test this app. I cannot go through and test every app. It's just going to take forever if I do that. So I'm only testing ones that people have asked me, do they run on previous versions of Android right now? I will make another video if you guys want. Just let me know which apps you would like me to test. This does have problems with 3D acceleration right now, just like all of the other builds of Android. Has something to do with the GPU driver, and we're hoping to get this fixed very soon. But games like this, Crossy Roads, Angry Birds, Clash of Clans, that kind of stuff should run really well on this. And as you can see, it's really, really not that bad. Try another bird here. So in order for me to go back, I'm hitting my escape button here, but I'm just going to close this out. We'll try another game. So the next game I'm going to test is Clash of Clans. And it looks like it is working. Wow, that's pretty cool. I really, I don't know what to do. I played this game a long time ago, I guess when it was first released. I, it was released years ago, and um, yeah, I just never really got into it. So it does look like it's working. It's working pretty well. Oh gosh, see, I, I can't get into these games, guys. But it is working. I gotta exit this. I gotta get out of here. So another game that I wanted to test was Minecraft. And like previous versions of Android, there are still bugs with the GPU driver. So, we'll go to my world here. You can see in the background, we still have that weird green and um, yellow, I have no clue what to call it, but 
the game does run pretty smooth. I'm very surprised that it's running this well. There we go. Oh. We'll just go across here a little bit. Some horses. So it is awkward playing with this mouse and keyboard on the Pocket Edition. Get out of here. Yeah. Minecraft works. Get out of here. Now, I really haven't tested much else. Um, the Play Store does work pretty good. Angry Birds, Clash Royale does work, but it's a portrait game. As you saw, Clash of Clans, Minecraft. If you guys want to try this out, you can go ahead to the website. I'll leave a link in the description. You will need Linux to install this. You can use Ubuntu. It works really well off a live USB stick to install this, or you can just install Linux to your hard drive. It's a fairly simple process. I can make a tutorial tomorrow if you guys want me to, just let me know down in the comments and I'll try my hardest to get one made by the afternoon. It's really not that bad. There's also a script that comes with the download to install the Google Play Store. Everything seems to function fairly well for a hacked version of Android on the Raspberry Pi. Now I did try Kodi. Video playback is pretty slow. YouTube within Kodi does work, but it's only working at 480p. If there's anything else you guys want me to test, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video tomorrow. This is exciting though, guys. This is getting closer and closer and closer to a final release for the Raspberry Pi. They do also have a marshmallow version that works a little better than this, but I wanted to show you the Nougat version. Like always, thanks for watching.